Non-disclosure agreements or NDAs can be a double-edged sword. Okay, it's be careful with them because what happens is if you're trying to raise money for your company and you ask somebody who you're not sure if they're gonna invest or not to sign an NDA for the, right before the first meeting, it might actually insult them. Just be careful, okay? And obviously seek legal counsel first, but, but I recommend actually keeping your first meeting with a potential investor so generic and high level that you don't really disclose anything anyway, okay? So make sure that you know that they're really interested in investing first before even bringing up the NDA example. And again, speak with a lawyer first, okay? It's important. Uh, but just be careful because a lot of people will, will just get insulted if you ask them to sign NDA right away, if you don't have a business relationship with them, or if you're not sure if there's gonna be a little bit of interest of them investing anyway, okay? And if you're a seasoned executive and you started many companies, then yeah, you have more clout. You can, you can ask. Uh, up, you know, up front more so for people to, to sign NDAs. But if you're, if you're just starting a company for the first time, keep that, keep the content generic enough in your initial meeting, uh, so that um, you don't need that to sign an NDA. Now, before they invest or before you divulge all the details, then yeah, it's customary to get your lawyer and their lawyer to sign some sort of an NDA after the initial term sheet. And for those of you that don't know what a term sheet is, a term sheet basically is, um, it's just a, a document, it's about 10 pages usually, that lists the general terms uh, of an agreement to invest in a company. And once both parties sign that term sheet, which is usually not legally binding, then the lawyers on both sides will put together the real paperwork. And at that point, there might be a more formal NDA process then. So just be really careful with NDAs. Um, only get somebody to sign it if you think there's a good chance that they're interested. And if your gut tells you you don't trust them anyway, then do you really want them to be an investor in your company? Of course, seek legal guidance first though, okay, because I'm not a lawyer, but I'm just trying to offer my humble thoughts having signed and not signed NDAs in the past. If you thought this was helpful, please click the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you mañana. Thank you.